it's a question of as soon as the regulators and the government get these policies in place. Right. So I just, if you can give me one minute, you know, and perhaps uh, I'll just explain what happens to you. Uh, for any industrial house or a commercial building, say this office where we are sitting, the electricity tariff per unit is going to be anywhere between eight and ten rupees a unit. If you put up a rooftop solar plant, uh, it's going to cost you each unit of electricity is going to cost you anywhere between four and six rupees a unit. So you can save anywhere from two to six rupees, and in some cases even higher per unit. Uh, the distribution company, any and all of this solar that you use reduces what you buy from the utility, the discom. So the dis discom's billings come down. And the discoms only make their money from what they sell to the commercial and industrial houses. Right. They have something called a cross-subsidy surcharge because to the agricultural sector and to some of the domestic segments, they sell at subsidized prices dictated by the state, by the regulators. They don't actually set their own tariff. So if any unit of electricity lost from a business point of view, hits the revenue of the discoms that you know for various reasons nothing to do with solar historically have uh, most of them have reached a state of severe financial distress right so this is the reason why uh, they are not really enablers especially for the commercial and industrial segment what we are recommending is uh, selling solar at a tariff that is giving savings to the rooftop owner hmm and uh, not taking anything away from the distribution company. So which means is uh, if I were to sell your organization solar at four and a half rupees, you build that entire solar generator from your rooftop to the distribution company at a price which is you know the same as their average cost of supply for a particular zone. So it does not cost them a penny more to actually buy solar. And then they bill it back to you at the regular tariff. So there is no loss of cross-subsidy surcharge or revenue or anything through this process. Hmm. Uh, we have pitched this to various uh, levels of government and it's been received favorably. Uh, this we think should completely solve the problems on the commercial and industrial size, hmm. on a side. Sorry, As far as the residences are concerned, uh, their tariffs are lower in many parts of the country. So uh, very often it's also been a question of how long does it take for a residence to uh, you know kind of get the return on investment what's the payback by putting up solar again in the long run this is very viable even in the residential segment you can have a payback of as low as 3 to 4 years okay. putting up your own solar plant there is also subsidy for this segment that still exists okay, okay. so we see that level also picking up in fact, in the first five years or so of our operations, we were focused primarily on commercial and industrial segments. But now we've recognized that this whole market that is actually looking out for active solar solutions, people are trying to reduce their carbon footprint. So we've developed models that can serve this segment as well. Right. And we expect to see a big uh, amount of pickup in this segment.